Hi, welcome to the Big Bear Homestead, and today we're going to talk about soil. Okay, so today we're going to talk about your soil, your dirt. <clears throat> now, there's two, there's two types of dirt that we're basically going to talk about. The dirt that you're going to put in your raised bed, and then the dirt that you have for your garden on your homestead. Now, the dirt in the raised bed, that is very easy to manipulate. You have a lot of control over the dirt that's going to be in your raised bed. Now, of course, you can go buy some miracle grow uh, potting mix, some miracle grow seed starters, some, something like that, and put it in your raised bed, and you'll be golden. You can do that, and it will work, and you will grow healthy flowers and vegetables. But, but it's not very sustainable. Because every year, you'd have to dump that out and refill it up. But if you got just a little bit of information and you put a little planning to it, you can fill up your raised beds with a mixture of some stuff that you can buy at your box stores and then maintain it correctly through the years and you only have to do that once. Same way with the soil that's in your garden. When we got here at our forever homestead, the spot that I'm sitting at right now was a solid, rocky, clay soil. I mean, it was literally a pig pen. <clears throat> so when we got here, we put our pigs in it with the sole purpose of having them turn it over and poop. The whole reason why we put them in here. We left them in here for a season. We pulled them out and then we started adding compost to it and tilling it every year. And we would let the green, what's called green, uh, green fertilizer grow. That's basically all your grasses and cover crops to cover the soil. And then every year we'd till it in and we would plant in it. Some gardens, some things would get successful, some things wouldn't. But we were repairing the soil. So, how, so what does the soil need in, in order to be as close to perfect as you can get it? Well, if you've gone into a feed and seed or if you've gone into a box store and you've seen the commercial fertilizers, they usually have three numbers on them, like a 10-10-10. That's nitrogen, phosphorus, and calcium. That's what they're talking about with those three numbers. But that's not all your soil needs. You want to start, if you run into a situation like where we have with this garden here, your soil, you want to take it from being dead to being alive. You want it to have a party. Um, now, if anybody, if you've been in our live streams and stuff and we've been talking about gardening, you've heard to me refer that use that uh, phrase the party many times and what I mean by that you want to have your soil full of different funguses microorganisms stuff that's breaking down decomposing leaving nitrogen in the soil leaving phosphorus in the soil leaving calcium in the sto soil leaving mercury uh, all different elements back into your soil that your plants need to be able to grow and produce fruit. Now, how do you get those microorganisms? Well, compost. Compost is the best way to go about doing it. You start yourself a little compost pile, get you a compost tumbler, and you make compost. We will be doing an in-depth video on compost here in the future. And you spread that out on your garden. You never let your garden go uncovered because the sun, 
rain erosion can kill those microorganisms. The sun could heat it up, heat the soil up and kill them, and the erosion can wash them away, flood them, and kill them. So you want to be able to, when you plant, use mulch. If you want to, if you, uh, in the off season, throw leaves and stuff like that on top of it. Keep it covered, keep it protected. But the main thing is, is you want a party in your soil. You want it loomy, which means you want it to, to be a soil that drains very well. So if you need to add peat moss, add peat moss. If, but when you're adding your organic matter, that's making it loomy. You want it earthworm friendly. You can do vermicomposting like what we've done in our raised bed. That's what these gray tubes are. Um, we put our composting material down in that tube. We put worms down in that tube and there's holes drilled in the bottom of the tube. There'll be a video on this later and then the earth the earthworms can move throughout the bed. We're even contemplating putting that system to play in our row gardens to see if it helps. Well, that about does it for this video on soil. I hope it's given you just the basic information that you need to help improve the soil on your homestead. Come back next week when we're talking about raised beds in our gardening series here on the Big Bear Homestead. Don't forget to check us out on our other social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks for coming by the Big Bear Homestead, and like always, have a nice day.